What's up, guys? It's your boy, Tater Tots for or Tater Tutorials, <laughs> and um, we are going to teach you how to make your own calculator. Now, before we start, there are very important things that you need to know. So, number one, this calculator is not going to be like your average calculator. The thing is, um, there are some downsides to cal this calculator. Um, first off, you can't have decimals. Decimals will count as an invalid number, as well as negatives. So you're going to have to subtract or add um, based on like if it's if it's a negative, you would subtract, or if you're you know uh, subtracting a negative, you would just plus. So. Um, you you're going to have to find a way to um, go around that and decimals so decimals you cannot use otherwise it will count as an invalid number and then um, you cannot have a number or you know a result of the equation equal more than ten digit ten or more digits so we're talking about the hundred millions if you go past that number, past that digit, it will count as an invalid number. So just be careful. You know, if you really want to make this just for your own personal use, you could do that, or you can download one off the internet. It's up to you. But for those who are interested in making their own, go to New, and go to Text Document, and I would just call this Calculator for now, um, just because you know it's a very easy reference. But anyways. Let's move it over. Oops. Let's move it over here. And what we're actually going to rename it, we're actually going to rename it to a dot bat. Now, you must have Notepad. Um, otherwise, you can't edit it. I'm pretty sure you always have Notepad. Um, sure. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to have to have Calculator 2 because I already made one over here. But, anyways, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to Edit. Um, I recommend Notepad Plus if you can get it but um, you know notepad it, it's no different so the first first thing you're going to do for any program game or application you're going to do at echo off and what that does it is it hides the commands so without it if I just did echo um, hello that's basically saying on the command prompt hello then it would be like this alright so we're gonna save it and we're gonna load this up alright so echo hello see you can see it saying echo hello so <clears throat> and then <laughs> forgot and then as the command is typed then it's actually just shown so we don't want that we want um, at echo off because that will hide the command it's very important that you know this it's it's really essential for any um, program or batch file or anything like that so if we go here it only says hello so we don't have to see that um, extra um, thing in our um, program so the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to do colon start and I'll tell you why you'll need to have this. This is just like a waypoint. You could name it anything you wanted. You could, you could say, um, calculator, or you know, just anything. But when you do the command, it has to, um, you know, be that uh, same thing. And the reason why we put a colon is because if you didn't have the colon, it wouldn't be considered as uh, a um, uh, a a um, location it would just be it wouldn't be able to find it and we'll tell you why we need to use this later but after you do that you're gonna want to do set slash p um, math equals equation with a question mark and um, and then you're going to do slash set slash a um, result equals percent math percent and then after that we are going to do 
um, echo percent result percent and basically after you get the result from the percent math the result will equal math and then whatever the result is it will say it so uh, we're gonna say this should have did this in notepad plus but uh, this is just uh, you know <laughs> doesn't matter but anyways as you can see uh, it says equation so if we do 2 plus oops plus 2 this is not a joke this is not just like any equation so as you can see it does it does 4 and we and you even saw in the notepad that I didn't say oh when this is this you equal it to 4 I could do this with anything but as you can see it just closes out because I didn't put the waypoint so now after you do the result you're going to want to you're going to want to put go to start you don't want to add the colon in there otherwise it's going to think that there's no colon before the colon start so it's going to be looking for that and it won't find it so make sure it's just alone without the colon so as you can see then uh, basically what happens is it'll go through this it'll go by line line by line and it'll keep doing that till it reaches the end which it will never end because it will just keep going to start um, this is good for um, well I shouldn't say it's good for but this is how y people can crash your computer with a simple file like this is because like if you have a prompt open uh, a certain file it'll just keep opening it over and over and there's not going to be a start there's not going to be a, uh, a thing to it so you find it's gonna <laughs> if you have this as well it's gonna keep open this batch file which will keep opening other batch files and it will exponentially grow till your computer crashes I've seen somebody do it before it, it's it's bad <laughs> Um, I don't know why people would want to use it, but, you know, I guess as a troll for your friends, I don't know. I wouldn't do it, but that's how you basically do that. But anyways, the reason why we have pause here is because without it, it wouldn't pause. There wouldn't be a um, press any key to continue. It would just go through and it would just, it would just, just stop. But with go to, we really probably don't need pause. But, you know, I'm just using this in case. So, once you're done with that, you're going to want to save. And you can see, um, let's do a different one. Like, I could do, like, uh, you could do the math, I guess. And, boom. Oops. <laughs> oh, missing up right here. But then, it, then again, it shows our um, thing. <laughs> I actually did the slash. But here we go. So, that's, that's basically what I get. Um, and as you can see, it goes right back to equations. So I can just keep entering in um, different equations. I'll do an easy one. 9 times 9. And we can do this with division. 6. Um, divided by. Uh, basically, slash. So divided by 3 equals 2. Um, subtract 5. Take away. Where's the take away thing? Oh, yeah. Dash three is two. Oh, we can do eight, seven, eight. Take away. Yeah. Say. Oh. oh well, negatives do not really work. It doesn't really work that well. So if I do negative four um, plus two. Oh, what? That's weird. Negative plus negative. Yeah, that okay. I guess it does work for for negatives. I, I thought I tried it a little earlier with my other calculator. I guess it just didn't didn't do it right. But you cannot go over the digits. Like if I do that times that. Okay. Did I do something different? I'm pretty sure that doesn't equal that, does it? 
Yeah, that, just, that definitely does not equal. I don't even know how many digits that was. But uh, let's do plus, because I'm pretty sure plus will mess it up. Yeah, see, invalid number. Yeah, I think that's the maximum number you can go. Because. Oops. <laughs> Divided by seven. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, if you do decimal, so 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.5, it'll equal zero. It's going to round out. So point, point 0.7. Yeah, I don't think it rounds. I just think it... Um, yeah, it's, it's just going to equal zero. It's going to equal the last number. So if I have 5.43, <clears throat> or, you know, we'll, we'll do like 5.8 plus 5.8, it's going to equal, or no, it won't because it's missing missing an operator. It thinks that it's some sort of sign, so it's it's going <clears> to <throat> it's going to make it wrong. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you want to copy this and take it for yourself, this is basically it for you guys. This is what you need. <clears throat> and if you can't really read it that well, uh, we're going to add it with Notepad. And what's cool about this is it actually, like, when it's in percents, it'll show up yellow. When there's a waypoint, it'll start up with, like, uh, a glow around it, a uh, yellowish glow around red. And then, like, for commands, it's going to be blue. So that's really nice to have. Uh, Notepad++ is really useful and really organizing. And you can actually, like, you can switch between files, like, that you recently used. See, I'm making, like, a game right now. As you can see, it has a lot of different commands. Um, it's kind of like uh, one of those games where, you know, if you don't choose the right path, you're going to die. So, um, yeah. So... It takes a lot. I mean, it takes each waypoint or each choice. So, you know, if you get it get it right, it gives you more options. If you get it wrong, you might death, and then it'll pause and exit. Or, if you wanted to restart, you could restart at the very beginning. And then, I have it for the end. So, like, if you didn't want to play, then you, you didn't have to. So, um, you know, if you want, if you uh, want me to teach you how to make that uh, game of survival <laughs> basically uh, you can uh, just comment below that you would like to see it or leave a like on this video it really helps me out and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video guys hopefully this calculator might help you in some way <clears throat> um, again you might not want to go over the limits with um, multiplying and you know because it will give you an invalid number or a wrong number so other than that, it's really easy, like, if you need to know a quick equation, you can just plop on your desktop, boom, you know, enter it in, there's your answer. So, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and uh, I will see you next time if you want to see more of these program videos, and or, you know, you're, you're not really good with computers, you need a little help on that, you can always subscribe it to, to Tater Tutorials, and um, I will uh, upload frequent content as much as I can. Um, and anyways, guys, I'll see you later, and uh, peace out.